But yeah, so somebody's aware of me. Where the f mm. Okay. He just popped right out of there, didn't he? It's a suit. Here we go. I was gonna say, if, if he's following me that closely, I'm gonna dag. Come on over here. There we go. That's a good start. That's how we whittle him down. It's really hard to know if I'm actually in danger or not, because I think the dudes down below are hearing me walk up here. And they just keep kind of going... They keep kind of going in and out of awareness. Alright, now it's leveled out. I really wish I had a good spot to just stand up here and snipe. But I can't really see over these. Maybe from here? I mean, that's deliberate. They did that on purpose so that you can't just cheese it. Where the fuck did that guy come from? He's tearing up nothing. <laughs> that seems like a bug. Maybe. Huh. Alright, well, I should very much like to draw him over here. I'll tell you what. I'll burn a bottle for this, because I know there's another bottle right over there around that corner. Or he could just not give a crap. He could just completely not give a crap. That, that feels good. That's great. <laughs> I guess I'll just go the long way around to take that guy out. Walk right past these duders over here. God damn it. <laughs> the noises. Maybe those guys back there aren't ever going to get up. It really feels like they're going to at some point, but I don't know what triggers it. You're a pain in my ass, lady. Sitting there eating some invisible corpse. Not coming to my bottle. Alright, I guess we have no choice really but to come down here, guys. We're gonna have to clear these dudes out. I don't really want to leave anybody alive. Because I don't want to have to deal with them. Oh, here we go. Oh shit, is he? Oh, he's... God damn, he's coming right for me. Alright. Yep. Can he come upstairs? He totally can come upstairs. Oh god. <laughs> you know, part of me really wants to try and get a stealth kill on this dude. I wouldn't have guessed that I could do that. But I also wouldn't have guessed that I could do that to the flamethrower guys, and it turns out you totally can, so... Maybe you could do it to these guys, too. How crazy would that be? Right, he's going back downstairs. Come here, douchebag. I gotta do some science on you. Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! Well, look at me go! Oh, wow. I totally got away with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. He's coming. Quick. <laughs> corner kill? Corner kill? Nope. No corner kill. Gotta create space. Gotta get some distance. I absolutely want to kill this guy with just my knife, guys. I guess the corner attack doesn't work. Or maybe it was just jank right there. But sneaking up behind them and, and getting a stealth kill totally works. 
And it was brutal too. I stabbed him like six times. I want to stab him six more times. It actually should be kind of easy if he just kind of kites back to his position. I can just kind of I can just kind of carefully get up there and do it again. As long as he doesn't turn around. Oh, now he's moving quick. <laughs> yeah, they kite back to their their patrol pattern pretty quickly, I guess. Damn, he moved quick. Alright. I mean, I guess I could also just shoot him now. He has a fair amount of damage on him already. There's a regular enemy. It's going to be difficult to get up and get another sneak attack now that he's back there. There's a couple different enemies over there. I'm um, pretty sure I can't get around that way. We would have to go back this way. If we want to try and get behind those guys. Oh shit, there's one. Sup? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> uh, too easy. Too damn easy. Have I been in there? Yeah. Which one is... That's lab one. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we do them in order, I'll always know which labs I've been in. Lab one. Wonder if there's a lab four. Ooh, look at all those dudes. I wonder if I can catch Acid Dude in a smoke bolt and do a stealth kill on him that way. That would be fun. That would be loads of fun. He's not that far away either. Okay. Alright. Equip the bottle. Well, actually, first let's get on that. And then equip the bottle. And let's just try and bring these dudes together. That was really risky because they damn near saw me. <laughs> I didn't really have good cover from there. And he didn't even come over from that. What a dick. All right, you die. You die. Oh, oh, it's still fast. Okay, nice. I thought that might have screwed me. Smoke assassin. <laughs> nice. So even if you do an attack from the back, it's still quick if it's uh, in a smoke bolt. All right, well, uh, oh, there's like three more dudes there. Um, okay, let's try it again. Stay right there. Stay right there, sir. Oh! Oh! Acid bath! Okay, I, I still got him, though. <laughs> He's still not dead! Oh, he is dead! Get her! Get her! It's still going! Fucking- Oh, I, I couldn't get her, guys. I couldn't knife her. Get away from me, bitch. Alright. I didn't know he was just going to immediately vomit acid everywhere. <laughs> Which I guess is a good tactic if he couldn't see anything. He's like, alright, fuck it. <laughs> We're going full blown acid bath on everything. That's fine though. That is fine. Hey. I think I missed those earlier. This is the door from which I entered, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright. Have I been everywhere down here? I think so. I think we've cleared out just about everything. Most of the enemies are dead. I think I've been in all the labs. Wait, have I come back here? Is 
It's the same damn area. What about back in here? Nothing. But I specifically came here because I missed this spot before. <laughs> but then it wasn't worth it. Oh, this spot does wrap around. Did that change? Because I feel like it didn't before. Either that or I just didn't notice the path. Uh, there's a lot of that going on. <laughs> in this area. It's not that weird, I guess. Alright, I think we're good, guys. I'm gonna move on. Hopefully Hoffman's behind this door. Scanning for Unity Cerebral Chip. Please wait. Unity Cerebral Chip detected. Entry authorized. About time. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Yeah, well, we're gonna catch up to something, Sebastian. Lord knows what. Oh. Look at this. No! No! <laughs> I wanted to pick this stuff up! <laughs> That's not a good thing. All that stuff we just picked up means we're walking into some kind of boss fight, guys. Oh, man. I wonder if it's worth going back. Well, maybe they'll give me a mirror. Probably not, honestly. I'm just going to soldier on, guys. I think I'm still doing pretty good item-wise. I don't think I have much to be worried about, so... Yeah, okay. Keep giving me them bullets. What is this panel all about? Oh! Oh! We're going to be fighting a fire monster. And that's going to be part of it. You watch. You just watch, guys. What the hell is this thing? Is that one of the crawly dudes? It's a dead crawly thing. That thing's like multiple people merged together into one sick, twisted thing. What a gross concept. What a gross design. Hello, Yukiko. I have come to save you. The question will be, will I be able to save myself? Yeah, this is totally set up for a firefight, guys. Look, we got... We got these, uh... They're probably liquid nitrogen, right? I call them, like, freeze canisters, but yeah. We're gonna have to use those. We're gonna have to douse fire with the switch on the wall. I see what's happening here. We got multiple switches. Voices. Voices in lab four. Oh, and look, Father Theodore is probably here too. He set up some candles for us. Just for us, because he's just romantic like that. Um, just want to make sure I pick up everything I can first. This is the corridor I looked down before, so yeah. Alright. It's kind of like one big circle, just with some corners and such thrown in. And I think there's something back over here? Yeah. Alright, got those. I'm damn near full on handgun bullets now. That's a good feeling. Probably gonna need them. Haven't really had a chance to use my uh, flaming... Harpoon bolts, though, which is sad because <laughs> I really like the idea of them, and they're probably not going to be much use against a fire monster. Ooh. Full on those. All right. No! Can't you see what he's trying to do to you? Please stop! Don't let him control you. Just listen. Listen. His voice will tell you. You've got to resist him. Hoffman, stand back. <laughs> okay. I see what's going on here. Stay out of my way, Sebastian. 
Ooh. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! <laughs> Well, here we go, guys. Time to fight O'Neill. He's been turned into a crazy fire acolyte guy. I I am fucking stuck on this wall. <laughs> oh, I can't get through there. Oh, that's what's going on. Shit. So we gotta hit these periodically to open the way, I guess. Get away from me. Okay, we might be able to do stealth kills on him, though. Um, probably not really worth the effort, honestly. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. Alright, want to let my health come back. Just a little bit if I can. Here we go. Alright, let's start fresh here. Oh, that was a full heal. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. That has failed to full heal me before. I wonder why it did that time. I am fairly certain that those first two shots didn't even land, and that's really infuriating. You think you're too good to fight me? No, I'll fight you. Oh, those are shotgun shells. Okay. Wait, uh, how, oh shit, how did I get full on shotgun? Get out of here. When did I pick all those up? That I take care of you. That's oh, now. come on! Or change like me. Come on with that. That was garbage. Oh, and he just... Okay. He's very aware, guys. He's very aware. Well, let's try this out. Oh my god, that was the worst! What the fuck? Let's try that again. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't do much to him. I think... Flaming harpoon bolts are probably not the answer here. I think we're just gonna have to shotgun the shit out of him. And if he keeps if he keeps flaming me through walls like that, I'm gonna get like inconsolably upset. Because that's garbage. Let's stay healed up though. I'd really like to get a stealth kill on him if it's possible. He seems like hyper aware as soon as he gets close to you though. Where'd he even go? He must have turned around and went back this way. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's... It's kind of funny, guys. Uh, I guess I was kind of right and kind of wrong. Ah! Because <laughs> I didn't think that it was actually O'Neill that was talking to Hoffman. And I guess it... It was, but he was under the influence of yes, Theodore. Theodore. So... That's annoying. Yeah, I, I can't do a stealth attack, guys. Just, he knows I'm there immediately. Whew, this is tricky. He's more accurate than the regular flamethrower, guys. Oh! Oh! And his uh, melee attack probably hurts a lot, I would have to guess. Okay. Hey, bitch, how'd that feel? I'm not sure if we can maybe do massive damage by attacking the tank. Ah. It doesn't really seem to have worked with other flamethrower guys. I gotta get out of this area. I wanna come back here and grab these shells. I won't let him get away. I promise. Let's see, what's gonna do good damage against him? Uh, maybe some of these? Ah! Couldn't get it off in time. He's definitely a little trickier than the regular guys, which uh, makes sense. Being as hell, he's like supposed to be a boss fight and everything. <laughs> oh, well, that set off the sprinklers. How about that? 
Oh yeah. Blow that tank up. I'll tell you what guys, let's try this. Let's try this one time. Oh yes! That works! Awesome! Uh oh. I pissed him off with that one, guys. That's it! I'm done playing with you! Phase two! <laughs> oh come on, man! I need to get out of here! Stop it! Oh, this is bad. I'm like stun locked right now, guys. Fuck yourself! For real! I don't even have time to get away! I think Defiant saved my life right there. Shit, does he see me? I'm trying to let my health come back first. It's not worth it, it's not worth it! You think you're too good to fight me? I wasn't loaded! <laughs> yeah, get shanked. Yes, Father. Can I do it again? Oh, that's garbage. You can only do it once. I am really taking a lot of damage here, guys. This is not good. This is my last heal. <laughs> Homeboy here hits hard. I must say. I'll keep blowing them up. I can keep my distance with these, so. Take more than that to stop me. Okay. Well, I've got more, so. That looks out good for both of us, I guess. Ah, damn you, Sebastian. Alright. Ooh! Headshot. Oh, he's playing possum. He played possum. <laughs> Oh, wow! Thank you, S Sebastian. You're welcome. Finally. Free from his voice, from my fears. I was so scared. You've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. What? The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. <sighs> so, would now be an appropriate time to harvest your upgrade goo? What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that... thing. I tried to get through to him, but... You heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't gonna give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. All right, sounds like a good plan. You go ahead and go that way. I'm going to look at this residence point right behind this safe house door right here. Yes, master. Of course. The machine is 
operating as it should. No. I wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, um, so I guess we're gonna get our flamethrower here, guys. Broken flamethrower. This flamethrower's fuel tanks are damaged beyond repair. You'll need to find some replacements before you can use it. The weapon seems to use custom-made parts, so you'll probably need to find a similar weapon to salvage the tanks from. You have a feeling that you're not going to find one just lying around, though. <laughs> flamethrower. I could use this, but it's broken. Yeah. If I found the right parts. Good thing I already found them, Sebastian. This whole fight probably would have been a little bit more effective if I hadn't already fought a whole bunch of flamethrower dudes. But, I guess that's not that big of a deal. It's just weird that they let you go and do that stuff first, honestly. Is this the room that Yukiko was talking about? I'm not even sure. Um, there's a lot going on in here. Hold up, guys. I need that. Let's look at this. No. I will never yes, Master. Of course. The machine is operating as it should. He's about to get my revolver shoved up his ass just the same way you did. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that O'Neill would have that happen to him because he is kind of a weak-minded coward, right? <laughs> well, he was, I should say. Mark of influence. Theodore's sticking his fingers in every part of this place. It's almost like a form of communication with him. Yeah, I guess there's more to it than just Theodore being really persuasive. He probably has, like, an actual power like that, right? <laughs> Oh, what is this? Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Oh, is this the thing I destroy? Um, alright, let's look at it. Oh, I was in the mirror. <laughs> I thought it was for the machine. Uh, hold on, Yukiko. I'm just gonna vanish into my otherworldly room that you can't come to. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's look at a projector slide, guys. We haven't had a chance to do this for a while. And this one is... Oh, it's the next chronological one. Nice. We've got two more after this, and we're back on track. That whole section in the business district, it feels like I did that totally out of order. Like, it's just weird that they let you do that that early, because it's almost like sequence breaking. <laughs> With being able to see the flamethrower guys early and get this slide early, it's like it feels like I wasn't really supposed to be there. But okay. Kidman, come in. I'm here, Sebastian. What's up? Ever get the feeling you don't know what's real anymore? More than most people. Although probably not as much as you. The first time I was inside STEM, I didn't know I was in it. Even when I got out, I was never totally sure that I'd ever left. And when I tried to explain what happened... People told you you were crazy. Of course. If someone came to me with my story, I'd have them committed for their own protection. I know. I'm with Mobius, and it still took me a while to adjust after Beacon. It was like living in a perpetual state of deja vu. Sometimes I still get a little confused. And that's why you stayed out this time? I don't ever want to go back into STEM again if I can avoid it. Consider yourself lucky. Union is like having deja vu in the middle of a dream about deja vu. I hope I can make it out of here with my mind intact. I just hope you make it out of there, period. I'm not sure anyone gets out with their mind completely intact. STEM marks you in ways that I think no one's aware of yet. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, but we beat it. We conquered our prior STEM trauma and beat the crazy ghost lady. So, it's all good now, right? Uh, I feel like I didn't get a ton of 
goo during that whole sequence. I'm a little upset. I was hoping to have enough for that really good combat skill by now, but I don't. Oh well. Getting a pretty good collection going here. <laughs> oh, and I was told by a couple people that that Space Marine looking dude is actually the guy from Doom. So thanks for the info on that. I had no hope of knowing that myself. Because I've never played Doom, although I hear that that new game is really good. And I'd like to play it sometime. We already looked at that. There is new, inf uh, new info over here about Father Theodore. I gotta get better at checking this board throughout the course of the game. Because they are always updating it. The bastard smooth-talked himself right into the middle of the plan. Just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. Jesus. <laughs> this looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> That's funny. Handwritten note. Kidman, I've had a serious conversation with Myra. I am sympathetic to your cause, but I think that further steps can be taken that will solve your problem in more final terms. Meet us tonight at 10 outside the Crimson City Renaissance Theater and make sure no one is following you. Okay. Um, I wish I could zoom in a little farther and actually see the handwriting. But you can't actually do that in here, guys, unfortunately. So we'll just have to take Sebastian's word for it that it looks like the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Alright, Silver Tongued Angel or Guardian Devil by Daniel Block. When you first meet motivational speaker, author, and spiritual Sherpa Theodore Wallace. <laughs> Is Sherpa? Is that a word? I never heard of that word before. His commanding presence and charisma are immediately apparent. His large, almost imposing stature contrasts with and complements his open and friendly face. It's this face that has graced the covers of a series of best-selling self-help books and launched a series of so-called spiritual well-being oasis, known as Moo Centers. Oh! But what lurks behind this friendly and benevolent demeanor? While some consider Wallace a guru, others, religious watchdogs and, more disturbingly, family members of Moo Center congregates, consider him nothing more than a modern-day cult leader. Yeah, we heard about Moo Centers really early in the game, and I never really knew what the hell they were. Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his M.O. Yeah. Moo Center recruitment pamphlet. Does the universe seem like a cruel and random place to you? Yes, it does. Do you feel like the world is, is conspiring to distract you with shiny but unattainable baubles in an effort to distract you from the truth? Uh, maybe? Are you convinced you're the only one who feels this way? No, that's not true at all. Then the Moo Center is for you. Come throw off the shackles of modern society. Meet others of a similar mindset. Create a better reality. The reality that you want, not the one that they want for you. Moo, we're waiting for you. Yeah, that is messed up. They really just prey on the people who are most vulnerable. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. Yeah, I kind of fell for that too in the beginning. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> Theodore Wallace, 3768, born in St. Louis, Missouri, resides in Crimson City. He is a motivational speaker and spiritual leader. And an enormous dickhead who's obsessed with fire. Alright, good to know. Well, I don't have enough goo to upgrade myself, but I think I can build a flamethrower now, which is all kinds of exciting. Oh yeah, here we go. This odd weapon can be used to quickly fill an area with flaming liquid. It is heavy and cumbersome enough to restrict movement. Fuel will be loaded into the flamethrower immediately upon crafting. Ooh. Circle will stow the flamethrower on your back, allowing you to move more freely. Oh, interesting. Alright. Um, can I craft flamethrower fuel? That doesn't appear to be an option. Let's uh, check out our weapon upgrades. Um, now that I have my revolver, I kind of want to up my reload time. And walking speed while aiming. Um, I don't know if I care about that for any of these weapons, really. But if we take our reload time down to 1.16, that's a decent upgrade. And that'll really help us out, since we can only carry six rounds in the chamber of the revolver. So we'll be reloading more often, you know? And now that I have that... Um, I doubt I can really do anything else that I care about, but I, I might end up focusing on explosive bolts. Or I might look at the firepower upgrades for the sniper. Let's see what this goes up to. If we take it all the way, 
It goes up to 200. Okay. Those get really pricey. <laughs> but it's probably worth it because it does so much damage in the first place. So, yeah. What other upgrades can we do for this? Looks like they're honestly pretty straightforward. There's no branching paths or anything like that. Wait. Yeah, they don't do anything. I was looking at the the high quality parts, but they don't say anything unique. Um, yeah, they're all really straightforward. There's no surprises in there. So, okay. Good to go on that front, guys. Uh, all right, I know we're kind of in the middle of something with Yukiko, but I actually have to sign off for right now and start anew on a new day. When we come back, we'll pick up right where we left off, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I love you. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'll see you guys when we come back. Have a good night.